Is that why you were so far behind? Is on the scooter? <laughs> Measuring We've it. done the scooter. And we, we lost him for like 10 minutes and he was on his phone. <laughs> Are you Googling it? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Everton in the USA. We continue to be here throughout our pre-season tour with various members of the team and coaching staff to keep you posted with everything that's happening over here in the States. Today, I'm joined by Michael Keane and Summer Sign and James Tarkovsky. Lads, welcome. Great to see you. As ever, we've got plenty coming up for you, including exclusive behind-the-scenes footage from in and around Washington, D.C., our American penalty challenge, and much, much more. So let's get right to it. So lads, welcome. How are you both? Good, very good. Yeah, good. It's been a good start. Had a few days training. Um, it's been tough, but settled in well. Had a bit of free time yesterday, so it went for a little wander. But so far, so good. Yeah, you both had very different summers, uh, but both back here and are both here now. You feeling recharged? Feeling good to go? Yeah, good. Nice mix of rest and recovery, and then a bit of work before we came in, um, and a nice pre-season to to head into, um, and it's been enjoyable so far. Yeah, you've had your chance to, as you just mentioned, find your feet in Washington. Have you been and seen the sights? Yeah, we went out yesterday, uh, went to the White House, have a look at that, and a few more, the monument and things like that. It's it's a nice place. Um, it's hot though, isn't it? Oh, I was just yeah. going to say, for any of the viewers that <laughs> yeah. don't know, the humidity and heat out here is absolutely incredible. So it's been tough actually going and seeing the sights. How has it been training? Today was tough, <clears throat> very tough. The heat's incredible. Um, so getting your lungs going and getting the legs going can be, can be difficult. Um, but it's been enjoyable, plenty of the ball, um, which is, is better than just running aimlessly around. Um, but it's been, been a good mix and um, another session later on today. Brilliant. Well, there's two tour games coming up uh, thick and fast now as well. You mentioned the heat. What are you expecting from those games? I think they'll be a good test. Um, obviously up against Arsenal, I think they've played a game already. Um, so they'll be well into their pre-season. And, and looking to, to sort of find, find the feet a little bit, um, a bit like ourselves, so some minutes in the bank. Um, I'm expecting a tough test. And then with the MLS side, I'm really not too sure what to expect, but it's just all about the minutes at the minute, I think. Brilliant, the games that we're really looking forward to. And the intensity is cranking up out here with double sessions yesterday and again today. And now that the lads here have got a chance to get their feet up, let's have a look at what happened at this morning's training session. Big reach up. Side on. There and back. Side on, there and back. Just get moving. Come in. Good on, Pat. Oh, good in, good in. Yeah, tight. Nice. Go, go, go. And again. Just on your right. Oh,
Okay, well, it's time for the main event. Aussie's quiz today, only three questions. And as they're both so tall and I'm not so much, I've decided to make this quiz all about taller or smaller. Things in America, buildings, let's see if they can uh, guess which is the tallest and which is the smallest. Off we go. Simple enough. Yep. Sounds it. So which is the tallest, the Empire State Building or Trump Tower? Empire State. I'm going with Kino, Empire State. <laughs> I'm, I'm meant to go for <laughs> no, Kino. No, you don't. No, you don't have to. <laughs> can we all be a team? No, of course you, you can be a team. You know, yeah. you, you can be. I like the fact that you're acting like a team. Yeah? <laughs> and you're both correct. Yes. Well done. Nice, Michael. Uh, 1,454 feet for the Empire State Building and only 664 feet for Trump Tower, apparently. So, mm -hmm. clear winner on that one. Nice. Well done. Question two, which is the tallest? The Washington Monument, which you said you've seen, or the White House? Washington Monument. It's on a hill, though, isn't it? So maybe it looks bigger than it probably is. Yeah, but I think I read when it was made, which obviously was ages ago, it was the tallest building thing in the world, I think. I might be wrong. Where, where was you Googling this? I read it when I was looking yesterday because we went to see it and I was looking like what it actually was about and like why we put it up there. Doing a bit of history. And yeah, we had a look. And I'm sure it's okay. like when it was well, built, I'm, it was the biggest. You've done research. I'm sticking with you. I'm sticking with you. Well, you've done research, yeah. apparently. So <laughs> I might have to ask if you the first question next yeah. time. Come no, on. you're right. I don't know if it was. <laughs> I haven't got the yeah. amount of detail yeah. that you've you've given the viewers. You might need to switch it. You want the microphone? Yeah, you're going to have to host this quiz. Uh, but the Washington Monument is, do you know? No. 555 no, feet. And the White House stands at around 70 feet. So yeah, Is that why you were so far behind us on the scooter? <laughs> Measuring We've it. done the scooter. And we, we lost him for like 10 minutes and he was on his phone. <laughs> You're Googling it. <laughs> Probably trying to work out. You thought it was roughly the same because it was on a hill. I just, well, I just thought maybe it was it's a trick massive. question. <laughs> so it was on a hill. Maybe it would, it would seem taller than it actually is. Well, there's the third and final question. You're both two Two points so far. You might want to choose differently. Which is the tallest? Another Washington one. The Lincoln Memorial or the Pentagon? I'm going to come to you first. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say the Pentagon. I'll go to Lincoln Memorial, just to be different then. Answer is the Lincoln Memorial. Yeah, I deserve that for my knowledge. <laughs> Did you Google that as well? But it's only just, only eight feet in it. 72 oh. feet to 80 feet. Oh, Absolutely brilliant. I'm not just a pirate. Interesting that. No. Yeah, so congratulations, Michael. Thank you. Winner of today's quiz. Congrats, Mike. James tried to copy you all the way and decided just to go a different way at the end, and it well, then didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite happy with the, with the way we're working it. Well, anyway, next up is our USA style shootout. The challenge sees a member of the squad take to one of the goalkeepers in a retro style shootout where the ball is carried from around the halfway line before the outfielder attempts to score. So let's have a look at the latest challenge affair after another gruelling training session here in Washington. Hi, it's American Penalties. It's John Kleban taking on Lewis Dobbin. Right, a few more questions for you, lads, and I'm going to start with you, James, if you don't mind. New summer signing. How are you settling in so far? It's been good. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, the lads have made me feel really welcome. I already feel like I've been here much longer than just over a week. Um, it's, it's a new environment. I'm, in, I'm enjoying the test and the challenge of being part of a new club. So it's been great so far. I'm looking forward to, to the next few weeks as well before the season starts. Yeah, what, what excites you the most about this, this move that you've made, the new challenge ahead? Well, the manager, first of all, sold the club to me. Not, not that I needed to be sold on it too much. Um, being from the north, I know how, big, how much of a big club this is. Um, but definitely the sort of the plans ahead and then looking at the, the talent of the squad and, and how I see it and how I think the, the, the club can go forward and, and, and have a, a real successful few seasons. Um, and hopefully I'm here to be a part of it. 
And um, you, Michael, what's it like to have James here? You know, I believe you may remain close friends after after your time at Burnley together. Yeah, it's great. Obviously, I played with James for it was like 18 months when I was at Burnley. Um, and we had a great time together. It was a good period of my career. Um, we got promoted and we had a lot of good times together. So when, obviously, his contract was running up with Burnley, um, I had hopes that he'd come here. Obviously, it was up to him to decide at the end of the day. But <clears throat> for him to be here now, it's, I think it's going to be great for us. Um, is what we need. We needed another centre back to give everybody competition, and he'll definitely do that. He'll be able to show his qualities, and yeah, everyone's uh, really happy to have him. He's settled in really well, and he's a uh, he's a good addition. What are your hopes for the season ahead? Um, I think as a t- personally, um, to be just play my best every game. I know the end of last season, I felt I finished really well, um, but I think the whole squad struggled for consistency throughout the season. We obviously had a, a really bad patch in the middle. Um, and it's about building on what, how we finished last year, that connection we had with the fans. Uh, hopefully we can continue that and use that momentum going to the start of the season to give us a good start and um, not let ourselves get in a position again like we found ourselves last year. But um, adding quality like James into the squad is always going to help. But personally, I know what I'm capable of and, and how good I can play. It's about doing it week in, week out. Um, so yeah, that hopefully we can, I can, and as a team, we can show that this year. I'm sure you can, but you both uh, mentioned, or we mentioned earlier on about the, the two tour games coming up. Are you looking forward to playing in front of the American Evertonians? I am, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it'll be my first game for the club, and I'm sure that I'm sure there'll, there'll be a good crowd there. Um, looking forward to the game, so hopefully we can provide them with a bit, with a bit of entertainment, um, get some good minutes in the bank and build towards the season. Right, well, we're coming to the end of the show now. And in our final section, we're going to see pictures of some of the members of the squad and how they looked when they were young. Michael and James will have to guess who they think these pictures are of. Here's the first one. You want to have a look? You can have a debate. You can go separate. You can choose the same answer if you want. Who do we think that is? (laughs) That is something, isn't it? It's about a week old. Curly hair. It's black and white, so it's... Is it black and white because we've only got black and white ink? I'm not prepared to give you that kind of information. <laughs> I'm looking at the hair, but it seems a bit curly. Curly, yeah, curly, yeah. Do we need, do we need to show this to the camera or are they going to have like a side still of this? Uh, I'm going to say Dominic Calvert. I was going to go down myself. Both going with Dom? Both going with Dom, yeah. The answer is Ben Godfrey. Oh, is it? He was a chubby kid, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> Look at fires in him. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, who is this one? Well, you, you guess Dave. You guess Dave. You guess Dave from the off, wouldn't you? Wait, wait, wait. It seems too obvious to me that. <laughs> who else could it be? He's in blue and white as well. Is it? Is Dave? Anthony? Is Dave an Everton fan? Yeah. I'm going to say Dave because he's dressed in blue and white as well. Could, you reckon Anthony? Anthony, Anthony was born in, was Anthony was born in like 2009. <laughs> Look at the picture. <laughs> Look at the quality of that. That is a 2009 <laughs> picture. <laughs> I'm going to go Ant. I'm going Davo. The answer is Jordan Pickford. Is it? Oh, yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's got good locks on him there. <laughs> it's a good game, isn't yeah. it? Here's the next one. Now, if you look um, close enough, I think you can see that. What, just in the face? Yeah. I'm thinking think, Yeri. Yeah, I was going to say Yeri. That's the answer tough. is Yeri. Yeah, 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 he does. If he gets it right yeah, in the yeah, face, yeah, he does look yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. And here's the final one. Want to think, see what you make of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Alex. I feel like you've seen this before. That's a cool dude anyway. It is a cool dude. He dresses well, doesn't he? Has he got an earring? Oh, yeah. Got to be. <laughs> it's coming some style, isn't he? <laughs> Checkered waistcoat and tie and a pair of shades. Yeah, I'm going Alex. Um, yeah, I'm going Alex Wilby as well. Do you know the mad thing is? I took one look at that picture, said the exact same. I said yeah. he's immaculate. It's got even as a it's even as a probably two year old. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. immaculate. <laughs> it's Alex. Yeah, <laughs> he's he well does look like babies. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the actual answer he's very is well, Alex Wilby. He's very well dressed. Well done, lads. All right, yeah. Nice. Two out of four. Yeah, not, not bad. bad. Two out of four. And there was not a couple bad. of like ones you did on purpose there, like that one. Yeah. Tends to catch us out. Yeah, it didn't take much. No, no, not at all. 
Now, every guest on this show, including Michael and James here, will be signing this pennant. And for your chance to win it, see the link below. And that's it for today's show. As usual, it's time for Michael and James to get a well-earned rest before the next trainer session a bit later on. Lads, thank you for taking the time to join us and good luck for the rest of pre-season and the start of, of next season. Stay tuned on EvertonFC.com and across our social channels for a lot more exclusive access throughout the trip. And we'll see you for episode four very soon. Up the toppies. 